Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Carla's Bunny Trail, and I'm Carla, your host. Setting. Actually, she's not setting, is she? She's laying. Oh, and I better be quiet because she's sleeping. Is this beautiful baby. This baby is the Ellie Sculpt. And it took me a while to finally get, yes, I've had her since probably before Christmas. And I've had a hard time coming up with, it just takes me a while, you guys. It just takes me a while to put a name on a baby. And I finally put a name on her. And her sweet little name is Fern. This is baby Fern. I think it suits her just beautifully. She is a cuddle baby. And here we are on Monday. So it is Cuddle Baby Monday. This tag is by Cena at Cena's Dolls. Little Fern, her head is the only thing she is vinyl. The rest of her is a cuddle body. And I believe, I'm trying to think. Mm, I thought maybe it was a Reggie body, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. <laughs> Something I was really excited about with um, this baby was I could um, I could dress her in dresses because I like to really girly my baby girls up. And she is actually the first cuddle baby to join our nursery. And I was that's that was my experiment with the cuddle babies was to see if I was going to like them or not and I do I absolutely love this baby yes I do I love her very much and let me show y'all something so precious let's look this way sweetheart okay are y'all ready here it is Boop. <gasps> look at that face oh my goodness isn't she the sweetest her precious little dimples there and her double chin. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. She is just precious. I am very thankful to have her. Little Fern has on some white tights. She has on these beautiful, let's show your shoes, sweetheart. Um, they're kind of like, I don't know what you call those Mary Jane shoes, but they're like tiny shoes, canvas shoes, and they've got flower sequins. It's um, rainbow colored. It had it, rainbow stripes, but they're pastels. And where the Velcro is on the outside is a pink, a baby pink bow there. Um, she has on this, I would call it a wine colored dress. Uh, would you even, would you call it a pinafore dress maybe? Underneath, she has a long sleeve onesie that is cream color, but it has all different shades of pink flowers all over it with some sage green leaves and some gray leaves. And then I put one of my vintage bonnets I have made on her. Little Fern is a baldy baby, so we've got to keep that head warm and those ears warm. You guys, I've really been thinking about getting me um, some earmuffs because I wear my hair up in messy bun daily. Messy bun or twist. And my ears in this winter weather are cold all the time and my neck. So I think it's time for me to... I don't wear a hat just because... I don't need it hat, you know, causes more frizz and I've got enough frizz going on with my hair as it is <laughs> that I don't need to add to it with the rubbing of the crochet material as a beanie hat would be or a toboggan. Um, so I have wore those bands though that wrap around your ears like a headband, but it's crocheted. I've wore those. Those aren't too bad. Um, but... I need something, and I don't, we're not through. It's, who was it that was talking about, Lisa's Littles was talking about the um, trees where she's from are starting to bud, 
and they did that last year and it's way too early for them to start budding. It's because we've had spring-like weather because we don't get cold here in Texas until um, February, March. February, March is our winter months. And so when, when our trees are confused by the spring-like weather, oh, then they start to bud out and flower but we get the farmer's almanac says that we're going to have another freeze in March, <clears throat> which doesn't surprise me because we did last year. And that kills all the buds and that kills all the flowers that are coming out. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. My throat's dry. <clears throat> so anyway, it really messed up our crops for the first time this last year where we have lived. We've lived here for four years now. And for the first time, the pecan trees did not make any pecans. And I think it's because they're so confused with our weather. Um, last year, we didn't have much of a winter at all. Um, and it's beginning to look like we may not have much of a winter. It We've had, you know, a week or two where it was not together, not two weeks, like a week here and a week there where it might have been, you know, cold. But... I still think we need some more cold weather to ki kill all the viruses and, and bad bugs that are out there. I don't know. That's just me talking. That's just Carla talk. <laughs> but as a gardener, um, I don't know if, if my pecan tree has not budded yet. So that's a good thing. But, oh yeah, I, I've gotten pecans every single year except for last year, and that, that was shocking, you know, that we did not get any pecans. Luckily, I had some in the freezer from the year before that I didn't have to use, I didn't have to go buy, because have y'all looked at the price of pecans or nuts in the grocery store? Oh, oh my goodness. But anyway, okay. Well, thank you all for watching and tuning in to see this beautiful Miss Fern. We uh, thank you, Cena, for this tag. And I want to God bless everybody that's watching. Thank you for taking a little time out of your day to spend it with us. And until next time, shalom.